Hey everyone, it's Mario. Thanks for joining me. I'm a little nervous right now uh, because I am going to use the Instant Pot pressure cooker for something other than rice. Uh, I'm also going to cook something I've never cooked before. Baby back ribs, or any ribs for that matter. So I'm going to start them in the Instant Pot pressure cooker and I'm going to finish them off in the Breville. So stick around, let's see what happens. So I was going to put the Instant Pot here to cook the ribs. We got this going right now. It's uh, cabbage soup. You know, other than cabbage, obviously, it's got like uh, diced tomatoes, green peppers, green beans, carrots, celery, and uh, chicken broth. You could use a veggie broth if that's the way you want to go. But anyway, I picked up these ribs at BJ's today, of course, and uh, I got uh, close to two and a half pounds. And the first step for this is you're supposed to take the membrane off the back of the ribs. So that's where I'm going to start. But what I found was the membrane is completely gone off the back of these ribs. I couldn't find any to pull off. So they did a pretty good job of taking it off before packaging. So I'm going to get started and cook me some ribs. So I'd like this to fit uh, better in the Instant Pot pressure cooker. So I'm actually going to cut this in half. Uh, that way it's a little bit easier for me to do because I don't know how well it's going to bend and cook around in the Instant Pot. I picked up uh, some Grillmates Sweet and Smoky Rub. And uh, I could have made my own. I saw a lot of recipes, but I uh, wanted to do this in its simplest form. And I picked this up at Walmart. Put some on there. Get a good amount. Turn this around. Do the same. Make a mess while I'm at it. All right, that's good. Moving on to the Instant Pot. Got the trivet in there. Put that in. And I've heard different things about just putting water or whatever, but a few things I've read is using apple juice is better because it helps, I don't know, I guess with the breakdown. Of course, this is kind of awkward to use for this as I make a mess. I'm gonna put a cup and a half of apple juice, roughly. And I'm gonna put a, about a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. The one thing that everybody ag agrees on is the liquid should not come above the wires on the trivet. Now to put the ribs in. I'm gonna put one here. One here. Probably doesn't matter, but I put the meteor side down, but you do want these to stand up. I'll see if I can't make those stand. Okay, put that lid on there. We want to make sure this valve right here, we want to make sure that it's sealed so we can build pressure. Here's another thing I couldn't find a solid answer on was the cook time. Some people did meat stew, some people did pressure, some people did 15 minutes, some did up to 40 minutes, depending on the size. Also, quick release versus slow release. I'm going to do this kind of a simple way. I am going to hit the pressure cook and I am going to go all the way up to 16 minutes. Once this is finished, I'm going to do a, a natural five minute release to keep warm and then I'm going to release the top and that'll give it about a total of 21 minutes of cook. So we just have to wait for this to build up pressure now. And we're off. Okay, this is gonna go for five minutes now, and we're gonna let it go through its natural release for that, and then we're gonna open up the valve and let it release completely. Okay, five minutes of natural release, now let's do the quick release. Now you may recall me saying this can be used as a tool, this came with the Instapod, because this will get hot, this will burn you. So you just poke it there, and let it go. Okay, valve is down. I'm gonna preheat the Breville to broil. It says high, I don't know if that's right, but it doesn't give me a temperature. Okay, let's open this up. There are the ribs. They already look like they've fallen off the bone. The toughest thing is gonna be getting these out of here without breaking them. That's what I'm worried about. So let's unplug this and move it.
I don't have any cooking gloves, so uh, let's see what I can't find to pull these out. Okay, I got these big tongs here. Let's pull them out. Now, if you look in the Instapot, you're gonna see all that fluid in there. It's definitely a lot higher than it was when I started. So, I wasn't sure about what I was gonna use for a barbecue sauce, but a couple of things. This is a sweet and smoky. Now, I wasn't crazy about the Heinz sauces, but the one I liked the most was sweet and smoky. So this is what I'm thinking of doing. I'm gonna put one of these, I'm gonna put sweet and smoky on it, and the other one, I'm going to put the Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar, and I think that's going to be a good combination. So, first things first, and I don't know if this is controversial or not, but I've read to put a little bit more of the spices on top, so I am going to do that. And now I'm going to put some of the sauce on. I want it fully covered, front, side, everything. Okay. Now you're gonna somehow manage to turn this without breaking it. Sprinkle a little more, bit more of the spices on there. Now this is a little thick, this sauce right now, because it was in the fridge, because I had it open. Oh yeah. Now I gotta rinse this off. Okay, a little bit more spices here. Now we're gonna put the Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar. This comes out a lot faster. And when we put this in the Breville, basically we're gonna put it just, just enough time on each side, a few minutes, three to five minutes maybe, just so that the, the sauce caramelizes. And then we'll flip it and then caramelize the other side. The spice. One thing I'm worried about is putting too much of this on there. The spices, that is. Sweet baby rays, I'm not too worried about. And this pan right here, this is my uh, Gotham Steel crisping tray bottom. Since I'm doing it in the Breville, this is the perfect size. So that's what I'm going with. All right, I think we're good. Let's get this in there. The rack was a little high for the ribs, so I had to lower it. Okay, let's get that in there. We're gonna let it go about three minutes, check, and if it's caramelized, then we'll flip it and do the other side. Okay, I don't think three minutes is gonna be enough, so I'm gonna just pop this up a couple more minutes, and we'll check it again. Okay, I think we're ready to flip. Yeah, that looks nice. All right, let's flip these over. I just have to remember which one's which. I think this was the Heinz sauce and this was the hickory and brown sugar. So let's get this back in the Brazil. Shut off, so let's start it again. I'm gonna go down to five minutes. We'll see if we actually need that much time. Okay, I did just turn this 180 degrees because the back is getting hotter, so I just have to remember to turn it back so I know which sauce is which when I cut it. And we're done. Remember, we gotta turn this around so we know where it's going. All right. So, Kansas City in the back, and we have uh, Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar in the front. All right, I'm not quite sure how to cut this, to be honest with you. Worried about damaging the tray, to be honest, more than anything. Okay, that's one of them. Made a little bit of a mess there. And now I'll take this one. This one seems to be the most whole one to try. All right, give them a taste. All right, so first we're gonna try the Heinz barbecue sauce, Kansas City sweet and smoky, which matched the spices. And I think it's this back one. Really nervous. Wow.
Ugh. Came right off the bone. I'm worried I need something to cleanse the palate, like a beer or something. Okay, so now we're going to try the one with Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory and Brown Sugar Sauce. Never made burgers before, this is great. Got a little stuck there. That one didn't quite fall off the ball. They're both really good. Donna, you want to try some? Yeah. What do you want to try? The uh, surprise me. Surprise you? I will give you, I use my clean hand. This is the uh, Kansas City, the Heinz one. And this is the uh, Hickory Brown Sugar, the one you liked on the chicken. I don't know what to do here. There's another Hickory Brown Sugar. You know, if it wasn't for the price of the ribs, baby back ribs, how much they are. I would do this much more often. Ah. Hmm. What was the first one? The smaller one you have is the one that you prefer, I believe. I know, what do you have on? Uh, Kansas City Sweet and Smoky. And this is another uh, Kansas City Sweet and Smoky. Mm. I like those one back. I figured she would, that's what she liked on the chicken. Yeah, the Oh! My napkin. I lost my napkin. Ah, uh, this was just a success. <clears throat> Don is waiting to jump in and grab more. Anyway, I appreciate you sticking around. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the bell so you know when I put out another video. And I'll see you on the next one. Mm. And I'm losing it on the floor. I think I fell right off the bone. Now you go make some. If I can do it and not screw up ribs, something I've never done before, you can do it. Not to screw up, but make them good.
I didn't wash the floor. That's fine. It's one spot. It landed right in the middle. And that was a big piece. Probably was a dollar right there. How much were the ribs? Um, twelve bucks, thirteen. I gotta get this 